Hey there, peace folks and dudes. Welcome back to the Call of Duty thing. So, I want to go ahead and go over real quick all of the rules that we have for this block situation. Come to find out, real quick, it has to be within a 25 by 25 area, which is, that's the full size of the block. And even if you're not on the block, it still counts as a sub- So we're gonna count real quick. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 blocks. And as you can see, that's within the 25 right there. This is as long and wide as the block is. So, as you can tell, even though this isn't in the actual block server, they're still taking different things that you create in your other servers, which I'm going to have to edit all this again. I don't know why this keeps leaving. I keep adding these walls back in and they keep leaving me. I, I guess they're just not supposed to be there. That's that's what I'm going to take a big assume. But uh, we're going to jump real quick into these rules and regulations here. I'm actually going to be doing some gameplay in the background. So that way you guys can go ahead and just have something to look at while I go ahead and ramble through all this. So I hope you peeps, sooks, and dudes enjoy, okay? Okay, so I'm going to just be reading off of my cell phone real quick. This video, again, is probably not going to be that long. But I'm just going to go ahead and read the full article. This page contains the full rules and requirements for your The Block design in Fortnite Creative Mode to get considered and may be chosen by Epic to be featured on The Block in Battle Royale. Ever dream of designing one of the locations in the Fortnite Battle Royale map? If so, that dream could become a reality due to Epic's new competition to get your Creative Mode creation featured. If you've been paying attention to some of the recent changes made in Fortnite Season 7, you may have noticed that Risky Reels has now been bulldozed. An area called The Block has been has taken its place. As you can see from the image above, which I will leave this in description, don't don't fret <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it in game yet or you haven't been able to play Fortnite. But as you can see from the image above, there's not much to the block in its current state, but just imagine your design being constructed there. With the all-new creative mode, Epic is asking players to create something that will inspire the world and the best design will be featured on the block in the Fortnite Battle Royale map. Fortnite the block rules and requirements. This is where it gets interesting. A 25 by 25 tile area on a flat section of your island is very important that your creations can fit nicely on the block. So in other words, even if it's not on the one titled the block server that you personally have, it will still count as long as it's within that. As you saw just before I started the FaceTiming here, the video recording of myself. Originality matters. Create something new. Don't copy other people's ideas, which that makes me want to go into one of my servers and just go, go completely different. Um, try to keep your memory used less than 50,000. Efficiency is just as important as creativity. So if it goes over that, they might have trouble putting it in, which that's what I'm having trouble with on the one that I made that is the block. I thought about getting rid of some of my temple stuff, just because it. I guess it doesn't technically need to be there, but that's for another time in another video. Uh, there's no height requirement, but please try to scale your creations to be similar to other destinations in the Battle Royale map or points of interest. You can use any component available. Chest floor root and floor loot, if I can speech today. And vehicle spawns will be determined by Epic, so no need to include these. So if you're gonna build one, don't worry about throwing chests or ground loot or anything like that in. Because also you can't throw ground loot in anyway. Which that's a great thing because I can go back and delete all those chests and they can put them wherever the heck they please, I guess. Aside from the requirements provided, let your imagination run free to increase the chances of having your design chosen. Make sure you use the hashtag Fortnite Block Party and share your work on social media. Also, feel free to check out our Fortnite Creative Hub page to further advance your understanding of the creative mode. Was this guide helpful? Yes or no? <laughs> very, very much, IGN. But, so that is the rules and regulations. I will probably be trying to do something of that effect I will be trying to probably make a video with that uh, 
add it in there and try and share it to you guys. Again, it's a small thing to try and maybe, you know, just attempt to get this. I'm not one of the bigger YouTubers or Fortnite players, so I'm not going to hold my breath on it, to be honest. But it would be cool to at least attempt, and worst case... I have some cool creations for you guys to come play. You know, we have we can put 16 people in a server. So I would think it would be pretty cool to even, you know, host some games ourselves, worst case, even if it doesn't get featured. You know, that would be cool to have it in-game. But see, what I thought they were going to do was I thought they were going to take some at a time and, like, you know, two different ones every week or one different one every week. That's what I thought there was going to be. I thought there was going to be a lot of change and change up. But I guess they're looking for something completely original and brand new. So I thought about getting rid of a lot of my temple stuff that's on the block. Which I I think I've shown you guys that in the other video that I did. And I thought about just keeping the factory and my fun house that I made. Because the fun house and the factory I put a lot of my creativity, heart, and soul into for creating something for the block. And I don't even care if there's just nothing on the other side because it can just stay blank. It doesn't have to be, but when it comes to, you know, info used, that's going to be difficult. I wish there was a way to also copy and paste your island. If there was a way to take, like, what I built on one server and throw it into a brand new one. So that way I can edit as I please. Maybe in time the creative mode will get a lot more diverse and, you know, span out more than it already is. But again, it's just in its, you know, beginning stages here. So, you know, even for what it is, it's still amazing to have this in game. So, Peace Hooks News, I hope you've enjoyed. Again, a lot shorter of a video. I'm not going to just talk and mumble until this hits 10 minutes because there's no point to. So, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope that's been informative for you. And enjoy your day, Peace Hooks and Dudes. Stay awesome, okay? And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.